All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh Bahashem. Have a shot. Now this lesson is going to be centered around this guy's comment <clears throat> made on the Elder Manada Zagba page, his channel. And it was done on the lesson, He is the Almighty. Why are you mad? And this guy <laughs> whose uh, handle or name is Hebrew Boy <laughs> 7963. And he said in this comment, this video darkens the truth for the scripture says God made man upright, but they are the ones that fall. Ecclesiastes 7 and 29. And why not harden Pharaoh's heart after the evil deeds they committed against God in killing all the male babies of the Hebrews? God so desire Israel, and that should give you a <laughs> indicator right there. God so desire Israel to be righteous, but they failed. We have a choice, and no one will is under complete control of Satan nor God. Can we be influenced? Yes. But we have to choose right or wrong. And that's what these um, wayward Israelites mindset is, man. You believe that you have free will, man. And what I found spiritual, his name is Hebrew boy. Well, you still thinking as a child, you still unlearn, man. Matter of fact, what is that? Uh, is that 1 Corinthians 13? <clears throat> Let's see. Unlearn. You know? Yeah. First Corinthians. <laughs> that's that's bad. Chapter 13 and verse 11. When I was a child, yeah, Hebrew boy. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. Yeah, your understanding is very small. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, yeah, coming of age. I put away childish things, and one of the childish things that this guy has is you believe you have free will, man, all right? And the Lord dictates and controls every aspect of our life. You know, that uh, Job 33, let's get that. Yeah, you, you get yourself, the Lord seal your instructions the day before. You have no free will, man. You see? Job chapter 33. Let's start at 14. It says, For the most I speak of once, yet yeah, twice, yet man perceive of it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings of the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. You see that? The Lord seals your instruction. And look at this, look at this word sealeth. If we can. Right. Let's see. If it would allow us. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it says the Lord seal of your instruction. Strong's H 28 56. It says to seal, seal up, affix a seal. It says to seal, affix one seal. Yeah, the Lord actually uh, puts a, 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 what is the word, a boundary. <laughs> you know, he has you in a, um, in a stall, as it were. You can only go the way the Lord have you want to have, the only way. He wants you to go, man. It says, fasten up by sealing. See, you in a stall. 
You can only go the way the Lord wants you to go. It says to lock up, to be stopped. See that? Let's go down here to the Strongs. It says to close up, especially to seal, make an end, mark, seal up, stop. So the Lord controls your, your, your thoughts, you know, how you move in the earth, all of that, man. Okay? But this guy is a child, man. He's, he's, this dude said Yisrael, <laughs> you know, again, unlearned. You see? Let's go here. Let's go to, and this is a, 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 a simple understanding, man. This is, this is really milk. But you see, uh, the things that are showed unto us are much heavier than we realize, man, because these people can't get it. Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. And we're going to go back to that joke because it's more now. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? See that? How can you understand your own way? The Lord dictates and controls it all. You know? Let's get in the NLT. It says the Lord directs our steps. So why try to understand? Uh-oh. It's a lot. It says the Lord directs our steps. So why try to understand everything along the way that's bad? Yeah, you're not going to understand it, man. Because it's Jehovah Bashar Shah controlling it. He's the one orchestrating it. All right, there is no free will. You don't have a choice. All right, back in the Job thirty three, and uh, let's read fifteen again. It says, "In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men." And seal of their instruction, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. Right. And this guy is uh, full of pride, man, to believe that you have free will, that you control your next breath. No, man. You how about shout, shout, dictate all of that. Matter of fact, Proverbs. Chapter 16 and verse 1, it says, The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. You see that? So what is being spoken, all right, what is being thought about comes from your how about shall shot, man. You see? And this guy mentioned Pharaoh, matter of fact. Let's go there. You know, the, how the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart. Well, that was to the purpose of, uh, of the Lord, man. But that's what happens when you follow the Israelites. <laughs> no, it's, it's Joshua Allah, okay? <laughs> the Israelite. Let's see. Yep. <clears throat> this is Romans chapter... Nine, and let's start at verse, you know what? Let's start at 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? Most High forbid. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Right. It's up to Yahweh by Shabbat So then, it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High that show of mercy. Right. It's all the will of the Lord, man. Okay. He's the one that directs your steps. He's the one that controls the fate of men. All the way down from uh from an ant, all right, up to these uh 
these kings in this earth right now, man. The Putin, the Biden, you know. The Lord dictates all of that. Matter of fact, real quick, we're going to come back. Uh, Proverbs 21, right? Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, right? That word heart goes back to the Hebrew word law, which means your mind. So the scripture saying the king's mind, these globe elite, you know, poon, buying, you know, even Trump, man. Hey, all the way down until your to your local homeless person, man. The Lord dictates and controls all of that. You see? It says, as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. See that? It's the Lord that turneth. And and uh, dictates the goings and comings of men. Okay. Back in Romans nine, we see that's that that's that mindset of a child, you know, thinking that you have free will, thinking that you have a choice. Now nah, you don't have a choice. The Lord made you put that comment on the elder a comment board. <laughs> you see. Romans 9 and 17, for the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, have I raised thee up. See, it's the Lord that raised you up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. See that? So it's the Lord raising up and putting down, right? What well, scripture say he raised up one and put up down another? Let's get that. Uh is that Daniel? Yeah, it's Jahab by Shah Dictates and control. You have no free will, man. Um let's say two and forty-four. Let me see. Um, no. A lot. Let me see. Mm. Yeah, let's start at 20. It says, Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Most High forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. He changeth the times and the seasons, he remove of kings. And set of up kings, he giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. See that? Well, it's the Lord that controls all that. Matter of fact, that's bad. <laughs> Let's read this in the NLT. Right? He said, praise the name of the Most High forever and ever, for he has all wisdom and power. He controls the course of world events. You see that? He, who is the he? Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Hebrew boy. <laughs> he controls the course of world events. He remove of kings and set up other kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the scholars. See that? It's Yahweh Bahashem Shai who controls it all, man. You have no free will. You have no uh, no choice, man. How the Lord set it up, that's how it's going to play out. Okay? And that's a fearful thing, man. But again, scriptures say, more things are showed unto you than men understand. All right? Let's see. Yeah, Romans 9 and 18. It says, therefore, he have mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will, he harden of right. So when this guy made this unlearned comment, he didn't realize he trapped himself by even bringing up Pharaoh, man. Again, he says, and why not harden Pharaoh's heart after the evil deeds they committed against, again, I'm going to read how he wrote it, against God. And killing all the male babies of the Hebrews. See that? God so desire again. It's not Israel. It's Yashar Allah. 
right? Israel to be righteous, but we failed. Excuse me, but they failed. We have a choice. No, you don't have a choice, man. You never had a choice. It's all dictated by your by Shah Verse 19. It says, Thou will thou will say unto me, Why doeth he yet find fault? For who have resisted his will? And that's the point. Who have resisted the will of the Lord? No one. All right? You don't have free will. You 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 don't even devise your own way, man. Okay? Our steps are already directed. The Lord uh, again, you know, when you sleep on your bed, the la the excuse me, the Lord downloads the instructions to your mind. All right? So yeah, uh again, this is one of those uh, uh layup lessons. The Wadi Habashawa Sha for the elder for the comment, you know. But it, it shows you that it's a lot of unlearned uh Israelites out there, man, who 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 uh go off their own understanding, man. You see? But that's gonna be it for the lesson. Lord Willis been edifying. I wanna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak with us. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders, great millstone. Till the next time, Shalom.